Hey everybody, it's Christine. I'm back today with a new Halloween layout for you. I am going to be working with one of the page kits from the October Scrap Room Flavors of the Month Kit Club. And I am working with the Fancy Pants Design Spellbound collection that was part of that kit. This is a really fun Halloween collection. As I've said before, I love to scrapbook Halloween, so I wanted to dive into that more. And I'm also going to be showing you a couple little techniques in this video, including how I miter edges, how I use my white pen in kind of a unique way to give this layout a different look. So you can see I've started off and I used that orange bag that you see in the background as part of my layout. And it actually came in the kit with the embellishments inside. Um, I, I think it was somewhat intentional, I'm guessing, that it was, uh, that it could be used on an actual project because it was just too cute to throw away. So um, I went that route and used that to really bring out the orange in my layout. And right now all I'm doing is just laying different ephemera that came in the kit um, all throughout. Now this part of the kit had ephemera and it had patterned papers. It didn't have any stickers or anything, but I really pretty much stuck with what was in the kit for the most part on this layout, which in the past I've always added multiple things in, but really today I don't do a whole lot beyond the kit. Now you can see I'm using these little stars and my foam adhesive squares from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L were too big. And these are the small ones. <laughs> so what I did is I just took my scissors and I cut it into fourths while I still had the backing on those so that they didn't stick to my um, scissors. And then I just broke them apart that way. Just a quick little way to make them a little bit smaller. I, seriously, they're already tiny, but the stars were just too too small on their own. Now I'm going to pop up several of the different ephemera pieces because I want to add some dimension to the whole thing. So in each little corner there you're going to see there's at least some part of it that is popped up. And here I'm pulling out the larger adhesive squares so that I can um, back things more quickly. I didn't need the small foam adhesive squares for everything, just those little ones. Um, and they, you know, it's nice that there's options there because who wants to sit there for 10 minutes? and pull off the backing. I certainly don't, so I like when I can pull out the, the, the bigger ones and cover more area that way. Now I am going to use this striped patterned paper to create some mitered edges that are going to go around the outside of the layout. Now what I'm doing is I'm just lining up my two corners and then just trimming right on the diagonal there. And you can see I cut four strips, they're all one inch wide, and then I'm going to go ahead and add those onto my base. Now if you're looking at this and going, wait, where, where'd your layout go? I decided I wanted it to be the background. So this is going to be the base and then I'm going to put my layout part that you've seen me working on already right on top of this. So all I'm doing now is I've applied my adhesive all the way around. I just used the Easy Runner Grand for that nice and quick and I am just carefully going over and sticking those on and with the stripes I was able to line up those corners perfectly so you can see like it creates kind of a uh, chevron or zigzag there in the middle uh, or in the corner of each one mitered it, it mitered beautifully <laughs> that's just an easy way like if you have a striped paper and you want to use it as a base it, it doesn't always work because you have stripes going in different directions so you can just do a quick miter job and that will take care of it for you and make it work so that your stripes are all going the same way instead of having some vertical and some horizontal. And you can see I really love how this pops and makes the whole layout pop. Um, that stripes just added just the right touch to the back of this back the back of this layout. Now one of the things that you may have noticed me changing here is that I took off an inch all the way around the whole purple part of the layout. So I needed to shift the whole thing over a little bit because it got off center in doing that. No big deal. It was, you know, even if I tore some stuff underneath, nobody was ever going to see it anyway. So um, it, you know, I just shifted things over a little bit. And then now I'm just going to add on some final touches. Now, I talked about a white pen technique. This is a white gel pen and I will link you up to some of them that I like down below. There's several that I really like. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just going around those black shadows that are in that purple paper and outlining them and creating kind of a chalkboard feel. Now, this was a total risk. 
I mean, I had no idea when I started if I was going to like it or not. I often use my white pen or black pen to add details and personalize a layout. But it truly is something that, you know, you have to be prepared that it may not be exactly what you are envisioning. Um, but sometimes it turns out even better than you expected. And this is one of those cases. I love how this turned out. Um, I even thought long and hard before I started to do that tree. After I had done the bats and everything, I was like, oh, do I want to do that tree? Do I want to mess with it? And again, I was so happy that I did. I think it really brings out the white in the outside paper, that's those stripes. It also brings out the white in her costume with the stripes. It brings out the ghost. Just added something special and unique to the layout. And that's, that's my whole goal is to add some clever twist to everything. I love adding those clever little touches to my layouts. And so that is something that I'm always looking to do. And a pen is an easy way to do that. Now, right now I'm adding on enamel dots. Nothing unique about that. <laughs> I do this all the time. It's almost always one of my final steps. Um, I opted for orange today because I felt like I wanted to bring out a little more orange in the whole layout. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a little journaling tag. Now, since I have that bag back there, I have the perfect spot to add in my journaling. So what I did is I just pulled a tag out of my stash and I also added in a little more of that light mint green patterned paper. I put that to the left hand side to kind of play off of the same paper that's over on the right side there and then I pulled out this tag and I added a black and white polka dot ribbon and there's a specific name for that but I can't remember it I know it's a gross grain ribbon but I don't remember the specific name of the pattern or whatever um anyways <laughs> I added that to the top and then I just wrote on there and put it in there and my my knot is sitting a little wonky so I'm gonna just add some adhesive dots here some little mini ones to make it stay down because I was not happy with it it was it I could not get it to lay quite as flat as I wanted ribbons always tricky that way with with folds and stuff so adhesive dots to the rescue so thank you so much for joining me today I will be back throughout the week with more Halloween layouts and we will see you again soon